Charlie Harper was an illustrator from Cincinnati, Ohio. He was best known for his illustrations of the natural world, and he developed a distinct, simplified, and stylized way of illustrating. You can find his illustrations on books, magazines, and on paper posters. Let's take a moment and get started creating our own Charlie Harper Cardinal. Beginning with the end in mind, let's take a moment and get started with these cardinal birds. Put your name and class code on both pieces of paper, white paper and on blue paper. Using some black paint and a piece of cardboard, take your cardboard and just strictly drag it across the paper. You want more of a dry technique, so don't use too much paint. Try to get a lot of your paint just to be dry enough so that you're dragging the paint across. Okay, using your blue piece of paper then, we're gonna be taking our white paint, using the end of a paintbrush, and just creating some dots onto our paper to create some snowflakes into our background. Let's take a moment, set both pieces of paper onto the drying rack to let those dry. Now that our paint is dried, go ahead and use the back side of your paper to start drawing out some of these nice birch trees. You'll notice that my birch trees goes from the top of the page all the way to the bottom of the page. There, there's a couple stumps off to the side, but we're ready to go. Now we'll go ahead and take our paper and start cutting on the paper to give us our birch trees. You'll notice that I'm setting the scraps off to one side and the trees to the other side so that I do not mix the two apart. Trees on one side of me, scrap paper on the opposite side of me. This way there's no confusion about what we want to keep and what we want to throw away. Now on the opposite side of these trees we'll have some nice dark marks that can be used to look like birch trees. I like to arrange them onto the paper to see what way I like it best. Once I figured out the way that I like the look, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing them down onto my paper. Lovely. Okay. Let's go into making the cardinal bird. On a piece of red paper, I want you to go ahead and do two big teardrop shapes. Also, a shape that kind of looks like a D, doesn't it? Two of those birds will look forward at us and one bird can be at the side. If you don't want to do all three birds, that's fine. I'm also drawing a long skinny triangle for the side view of the bird, a regular triangle for the front view of the bird, and two crescent moon shapes that I can use for the wings of a bird. There, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and start cutting out all of my shapes. Okay, so as you can see, I'm starting to take some of my shapes and starting to turn them into looking more like cardinals. My half circle, my triangles, my teardrop shapes, these are getting glued down right away so that I don't lose any of my pieces. I felt like one of my wings or my crescent moon shapes was a little too big for that bird, so I just trimmed it down. Lastly, you'll notice that I'm taking a black marker. You can use a black crayon or a black oil pastel, and I'm making, again, semicircles and rectangles that can be used for the faces of my cardinal birds. Lastly, using a piece of yellow paper, I'm gonna go ahead and make a U shape or an upside down U shape, and that's gonna be used for part of its beak. I did this twice for the two birds that are looking at me, and one triangle for the side view of my bird, 
And now I'm gonna glue those in place. Now that I've got those glued in place, I'm also gonna use my Sharpie to add on any details that I would like onto my Cardinal project. I noticed my yellow paper was just a little bit too big, so I'm taking my scissors and trimming that down just a tiny bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna use my Sharpie and start drawing on a V shape, drawing on two dots for eyes, and I drew just a little line for the beak. Oh, I just love the way this looks. Charlie Harper, I'm sure would be proud. Thanks for watching and happy art making.